Welcome to the tavern. My name, my name's Jay. First off, uh, for everybody who's watching it, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Turkey Day, and uh, so on and so forth. Have a lovely time with your friends and family. Uh, all of that. And uh, now, now let's get started. So, back um Armored Core, PvP, obviously. And uh, I made a lot of changes to uh, my rabbit here. And when I mean a lot of changes, I mean a lot of changes. So, I'm still using the, the Duo 3. I'm still using the, the... Well, I'm pretty sure I wasn't using it last time. But I'm using the Coquelette, the Aurora, the Worker. You've noticed I dropped the melee weapon. That's because uh, the Worker here is my melee weapon. Pseudo melee weapon. So now I don't have to worry about uh, that melee attack stat. I still have the ephemera head because it's the only rabbit-like head I can find. Still have the Noctidae core. Changed to the Alba and I'm keeping the Caswars. I changed to the Alula. Changed to the Talbot and changed to the VE20C to give myself more uh, EN special, uh, yeah, energy firearm specialization. To make my Worger and my Aurora do a shit ton more damage. The Worger being able to do like 1820, which is gonna be boosted by like what another 14%. Being able to do like almost 2000, pretty much like 2000, right? Let me see, 14%. Yeah, around like 2000. And then apply the uh, the modifier of one point four um, forty five for like one point five. That two thousand becomes three thousand almost instantly. Yeah, so, sorry, I'm a little bit itchy. Um, but yeah, that's the worker. Then we have the coquelette, which is gonna be my uh, fast, m close to mid range, mostly close. It's there to keep st uh, stagger pressure. Kind of like if you get in my face, you have two guns to worry about. The Aurora. Just for like... The Aurora is like in a weird spot. To me. Because it's not something I want to use, but... I've At this point, I've kind of grown used to using it now. I've only used it like... Yesterday. Like, fully, fully used it, right? So, what what do I mean, right? Well, to me, it's like the homing lock time. That's what gets me the most. But I have found a lot of success with it. And what, what do I I found a lot of success with it. Like, if, if I need to, like, kite away far enough, keep my opponent within target, I can launch it. And then the duo three is a duo three. We are, I, you've seen me use this a lot already. The Alba arms I got just for like the firearm specialization stat. It does give me more defenses and a bit more AP. But what what I needed the most was this firearm specialization stat. So I could have gotten knocked iron, but I don't. I didn't. I didn't need the knocked iron, so we, we went Alba. I can find something that's like comparable, which is like the Melander, which will give me not nearly enough defense. Oh, but I'm gonna be um overloaded. Never mind. Even for the C three, wow. Yeah, like everything. Oh, well, no wonder everything's heavier. So yeah, the Alba arms, just because at this point, I think they're the light. The, the one uh, one of the lightest arms, if not the lightest. Yeah, if I go in terms of like weight. Yeah, it's like the lightest arms that actually give me some defense. With great tracking, so it's like, yeah, why not, right? Now, I could change the Noctidire core. Again, I'm going to be heavier. I'm already at, oh, I'm already at my... A bad weight limit. Oh, this is why. 
because this thing bumps me up to like this is a fucking ten thousand just to get like a good EN spec. Actually, what is a good EN spec? Like second best that I can use. Okay, it'll be that one. And then and everything kind of like trails down, right? So like this would be something I can use. Yeah, it's like I'm better off using this. A lot, a lot more uh, energy capacity. The EN supply efficiency works as well. And then change the terminal armor because I no longer have a need for assault or pulse armor. Oh, uh, you didn't really see all that, but uh, you kind of did. So we're gonna go full screen now. Next matchup search room. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be anybody. Oh, there, there are. Uh, let's go find a room. Kind of like show off the build, right? Yeah. We'll show off the build. I might still complain about like lag and stuff, but that's gonna be me complaining about lag and stuff. Oh, uh, if you don't hear like any music, it's because uh, I usually lower the music within the game. That's usually how I do things. So you're just gonna hear like clink clink of metal and my voice. Alright, what do you have? Missile, missile, hammer, missile. So all, all I gotta do is like avoid the missiles. Because then you're also gonna go in for like hammer kicking, which I'm just gonna hit you with the uh, the worker. Alright, I'm gonna go this way because I'm pretty sure you're going the other way. Alright. Yeah, you're just riding your ass off. What is everything that's hitting me? Is it a split missile? Oh, he's just being a fucking rat. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta go about this now. So he hates close range. He has a hammer for the close range encounter, but he hates close range, right? Yeah, you hate close range. Because all you're trying to do, you're trying to rat. That's it. So because at this point, you can no longer rat. And the hammer is only to catch uh, people who want to get in close. You don't know how to play this build. So I play this build like, but like against competitive people. Competent people.
Yeah, again, against competent people, right? And this is the adapting playstyle I want, all right? So I can't rat as well because I only have two missiles versus his three missiles, and he's only using the hammer as I get out of my face. Meanwhile, I was in his face the entire time. Destroyed. Like, once I realized, and that was it. Like, once I realized, like, oh yeah, he doesn't want to be in my face. He's he's playing the bills as a rat, not as a anything else. So now, same thing. I go up in his face because he has, they have, well, I don't know. They have no way of actually dealing with me up close. Like, yeah, we can, like, kind of, like, self-stagger each other. But we really, he, he, ha they have no way, like, just really, they have no way of, uh, of, like, um, punishing me for close range. Especially because I'm using a Lula. And, yeah, you saw me in the air, and that's because, uh, the hops, right? This is where the hops come in. The hops and the, uh, energy load, you over there. Yeah, and then get out of here. But now you, you, we're, I'm seeing the result of uh, like me just me going with like the worker as my melee, because now they are actually like at first they were just. I could do this, but now they're in a position of maybe I can't. You see that? He doesn't, he, he, they can't be in my face. Like, they can't be in my face, and they're not trying to, like, assault boost away. They're not trying to, like, peel away. Because they think they can fight me in my, um, in my little, uh, territory. What you change off this? Oh, you went for the Javelin Beta. It's, okay, so the Javelin Beta is going to be a bit of a different beast. And that's only because of like the ja how the Javelin Beta acts. So now you have the... Um, the A ATC. Or ATH. Or AHM. Active Homing Missile. The, we're going to call it the active homing missile. So now i got to worry about the active homing missile and the javelin beta. Along with the... Uh, with the, I, think, I forgot what this hand missile was called. And the, 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 so... I, I keep stuttering. The way to... Like, counteract the Javelin Beta is, like, it's a line, and it's, like, after three seconds, right? Like, that hit me somehow. Oh, I don't have an extension, that's right. Ah, uh, I did not hit with that. That Javelin Beta... I actually hate the Javelin Beta. Not because, like, 
Oh no, it's like a, no. I hate it because like it's because like the mechanics around it, right? It doesn't actually do anything until like after it hits, or after it doesn't even have to hit. Oh, I fired that preemptively. I did not mean the. Yeah, it's always the javelin beta, right? So like that build is giving me like a lot to like dodge. That that that's the one thing I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out the javelin beta because like it swerves. That Jabba Beta swerves. It's not like a straight line missile. It follows you, but then leaves a trail. And that's a dog barking in the background. So, you're going to be hearing dog for a little bit. So, like, okay, so then here, here's the question, right? What do I do about the Jabba Beta? Because, like... It's going to leave a line trail. I know where the line trail is going to where it's going to be at cuz it's going to chase me for like a little bit. And I how would I avoid the the javelin beta? That'll be the question. How do I avoid the javelin beta? That, yeah, oh, I'm out of energy, I'm dead. No, how do I avoid the javelin beta? I hate how that one functions, because it's like, it's not like you can run away from it, because like the moment it hits its peak, it actually starts and then does, it does the damage almost immediately. Get out of here. Okay, so it's... Don't get overly greedy. Move around. Never stay still. Move around. Don't get greedy. Because another thing is, like, don't want to get hit by assault armor. That's kind of, like, it for me, right? I'm sorry. What hit me there? Gotta be wary of the missiles. Okay. Nah. Okay. It's not bad. It's how do I avoid the javelin beta? All right, I think we. I got my fill there. We'll look for another room because, like, I don't want to play against the same build. We already see what it could do against one build. Come on, give me. Come on. There we go.
Alright. What do you have here? Ah. Oh. Oh, uh, whatever. See what I can do against a tank. Probably nothing. Or maybe if you're not there. I don't know why you create a room if you're not there. That's just me, though. Alright, let's see what this is. I'm sorry, um, I get, so I, I get, like, if you're in the garage, like, don't make a room and then immediately go to, like, prepare. You should have already had your, your mech prepared and then ready to greet somebody, right? Steel Haze or this Mark II. That's what this, this build is. So people are trying to, like, really, like, make better, um... All the other pre-made mechs we have in the game. <clears throat> That's not a steel um, steel Ortis. Oh, uh, that is steel Ortis. Never mind. I'm thinking I'm um, steel haze. Re like regular steel haze. But like, let's see. What, let, let, let's see what this th what, what my uh, build can do now. Obviously, I I, ha I have trouble myself against javelin beta. I try being sneaky with it. Just go for the kill. But it's like, yeah, because now that the worker is my pseudo punish, my, my pseudo melee, my punish, this is what I created, right? I now have six weapons. The regular worker, the handgun, the Aurora, the 6L, or the, the duo. Then I have the worker charge, and then I have my kick. Oh, no wonder. Okay. I got to avoid um, a lot of the uh, bullshit there. I'm dead here. I'm dead because I ran into the assault armor. No, I, I wasn't looking at the laser drones. I, I think they're laser drones, not the laser turrets. So because I wasn't paying attention to that, I kind of like hurt myself a little bit. You really want to stay up in the air, don't you? Got him. Yeah, he wants to stay airborne, which is something that I should probably like. I have, I have to like, I have more air sustain now, so it's like I can work in that space now. Good job. I would give you that second round, but I have to end the video. So there we go. Yeah, I, I, so matches went a lot better. 
Uh, I still lose the javelin beta because I have to fun. I have to. I have to find a way. I gotta find out how that particular weapon works, which is gonna be like a lot of testing, right? Because like it goes in, flies over. Once it reaches either a the target or b a proximity of the target, I think that's how it works. It then leaves a line. So I have to count within like three to five seconds of like hear the beep beep, and the thing is you don't know what beep beep, right? Because of because of that build, but you hear the beep beep, you see the line, and you have to you have to imagine: Do I go under? Do I go under into the left or under to the right? I don't think it matters which which way you go. But I, then again, I don't know how like it functions, which is gonna be like a, a good testing bit, right? So, with that said, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is me showcasing, uh, I guess the final evolution of the rabbit. I might make some tweaks here and there, but this to me feels like a, a good last evolution before, uh, before like a lot of things change. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of things will change in the future where this build might no longer be viable, but this build works for like everything it wants to do. It has a good melee punish with the with the worker. Has four weapons that can actually like build up stagger, which is what I need. And then I have the kick for like a a good punish if I don't have a worker, which is something I gotta get used to. All in all, I am liking how this build is coming along. I can't wait to like scrap it out with the other top players. Now, with all that said and done, uh I am. I do stream on over on Twitch. I'm streaming more now, so you can find me at the same name, the Bunny Tavern, over on Twitch. Uh, I should plug that in at some point. Uh, I think I have space wrong here somewhere. But yeah, uh, we have that. Uh, I do have a Discord. Feel free to hop in. It, that the the Discord itself should be in the description. And. Uh, I think that's about it. So, all that said and done, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you guys later.